but I am a farmer. And this gets me excited. These could be the first tomatoes of the season. They will be. And, and there's, it's the three different varieties that are the sweetest, tastiest. This, I, I'm excited about this. Well, and people were excited about these last year. They were the talk of QVC last year. Yes. Everybody wanted these that are, because they're manageable. You don't have to have a big garden to have a lot of tomatoes. This is the way to do it. And it, it, they're referred to as the, the little birdies. Little birdies. The three in ones. And it's three different varieties of, of tomatoes. You've got red robin. Yes. Okay? You've got what's called rosy finch, and then you've got yellow canary. And, and they're, they're little bite-sized tomatoes, which they're, they're perfect for salads, perfect for snacks. I'll cut them up and put a bunch of them on a burger, but this is manageable. And if you want to get a child excited about gardening, grow something they can eat. And they're really, really good. You know, a lot of cherry tomatoes that you get in the grocery store, it's just not much to them. Mm -hmm. These are delicious. Homegrown is always better. You can grow these in pots. You can even grow these in window boxes. This is the size that they're going to be. Lots and lots of plant color, lots and lots of plants in here. And you're thinking, well, how long is it going to take mine to get like that and have all that? Wonder no more. <laughs> this is what I'm shipping out to you. All Look three varieties, you can see the stems, all three varieties are in here. When's it going to start making tomatoes? Look. They're there already. It, you it, don't have to wait. I hate waiting. It's your tomato garden shipped directly to and your front door. Dense. I, I grow tomatoes no every year. But my tomatoes have become a challenge and become work. <laughs> this makes the, the hobby of gardening almost instantaneous. Yeah. And because you have all three on the same plant, it, it really is magnificent. Can I tell a real quick story? Something yeah. as, as innocuous as a cherry tomato. When you mm. go to the grocery store and you buy them at the grocery store, they were not grown for their flavor, for their juice, for their sweetness. They were grown for a thicker, hardier skin so that automated picking equipment could pick them. You've nailed it. It had, it, the ones we buy at the grocery store have nothing to do with flavor. You grow tomatoes on your own back deck and the first time you bite into them, you'll go, that's good. I know people who like ketchup and hate tomatoes. <laughs> it's because they've never had really good tomatoes. Well, what I like about these two is that they're meaty. A lot of cherry mm -hmm. tomatoes and smaller tomatoes you get is that there's nothing but just juice it's inside. It's a water balloon. There's no meat. These are so meaty that you can use them on kebabs. Most cherry tomatoes you cannot. Think about how this will dress up a kebab. Also think about how it looks in salsa. It's a great garnish. If you've got it all it chopped up in a salad, you've got all of that color going on. And each of these different varieties have different flavors, like different flavors of apples. The same kind of deal. It, I'll be honest, this is the only way you'll get me to eat a salad. <laughs> See, Isn't that beautiful? I, I don't consider vegetables food. I consider vegetables what food eats. <laughs> Does that make sense? But this, these are the fruit of the garden. They really are. And they are magnificent. We've had over what, over, over 900 people pick them up. Again, you have all three of the different strains. They're called little birdies. You've got yellow canary. You have the, the red robin and the rosy finch, all, all within the same pot. So this here's is, your whole garden. And this is how big it is. If you've only got a terrace garden, this you can have these tomatoes. You don't have to have a big victory garden right. to have these. Also, children love these. Send the kids out to pick them. They will enjoy all of that. It's great for a child's garden. But also, if you've got a small garden, it's ideal for you. My mom has just got a balcony. Okay. These are perfect for my mom. She can grow tomatoes. When you, know, you think I have to give up on certain things, you don't. This brings me joy. <laughs> tomatoes bring me joy. Uh, it's, it's the first bragging rights of gardening for me. Yes. And to have the first tomatoes. And you will. And you will. Yes, you will. And look at all the things you can do. It's not just the flavor, it's all the color. It's the eye appeal as well as the taste appeal. I love all of that. And you can find one here and you can find one there, all three in one pot. It's a way of having this big consolidated garden in a little area. At, and at an affordable price, you're talking about $18.12. If you spend no other money on cottage farms this year, 
try this. Yeah. Because it, it will bring you happiness. Uh, mine will reside right on the back deck, right outside of my bedroom. Well, I'll go out with a cup of coffee in the morning and drink my coffee and pluck tomatoes and eat them. Think about this. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah. I've got three steps that go up to my front door. Okay. And I'd like to do pots on either side makes me because happy. they're so beautiful. Think about, are there many flowers that are as colorful as these tomatoes? Think about that. Think that of it in a different good. way. Think of it as an ornamental plant that you can also eat. Can I, can I throw a, a, a plug in, by yeah. the way? If you want more tomatoes, you want more blooms, you want more, more, Yes. then I'm gonna highly recommend that you consider picking up his Bud and Flower Booster for fruits and vegetables. And we've got it, it's at 30 bucks. What is it, it makes, what, 40 packets, 40 gallons worth, that's a whole season plus. That you can also use on the peach tree that's coming up. Uh, we've got a white peach tree that is incredible. Have you noticed that when you and I work together, they tend to, they tend to give us the stuff that we can eat? Well, we're hungry, Always. hungry boys. <laughs> But the look is great. A lot of tomatoes in a small space. And if you've got a smaller garden, don't say you can't grow tomatoes, that you have to go to the grocery store or stand in line at the farmer's market. Grow it yourself. Also, right. you know whose hands have touched it. Yours and your kids. That's it. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, this year, I, I, and I'm not much of a cook, but to this we're going to do different spaghetti sauces this yeah, year, yeah. different flavors. It's three different varieties of tomatoes all in one pot. So they did the hard work for you, and, and it is a bounty of tomatoes. And they'll be picking tomatoes in some areas of the country how early? Well, the thing is, what I'm shipping out to you, the yep. shipping sample right here with the three different plants in it, you've already got tomatoes. They're blooms that are coming on it already. These will produce the earliest and the latest of all the tomatoes that we offer. This is all season long in a plant that is manageable. All three varieties are in this nice big pot. Okay, we, just so you know, uh, and, and it's up to you, but we brought 5,000 of these sets in. We have now less than 1,000 to go around. Are you, stop, and that's for it. the whole year. For the, that's for the whole year. Now we have other tomatoes that we'll do. We'll do the beef steaks and some of the others. But it's in terms of manageable tomato gardens, this is the smartest choice. I urge you, if you've got a youngster in your family, get them involved in growing. Get them involved in the concept of gardening. Um, when I was a much younger man, roughly 10% of America's population lived on farms. Right. Now it's less than 1%. And we think food comes from the grocery store. The best food in the world will always come from your backyard. Yes, indeed. Enjoy this, celebrate it. $18.12, and they're guaranteed to grow. You get three different tomato plants, you will not be disappointed. Coming up, if you think you know hydrangea, I, pardon me, you don't. These are peppermint swirl hydrangeas. I remember that hydrangea